A Byzantine city built over ancient Roman ruins, Bari is the second most important economic center in mainland southern Italy. While not as famous as some of Italy's other cities, it offers a unique history and culture that you are unlikely to find elsewhere. Due to the fact that it is a less popularized city, many first-time visitors will be unsure of exactly where they should stay in order to best achieve the type of vacation they're planning. In today's video, I will be looking at the best areas to stay in Berry and giving you all the tips and info you require to make a fully informed decision for where to stay in Berry. I'll start with Murat, Central Berry. In most cities you find that the center of town is the busiest hub of activity, and that is no different in Berry, where its central area of Murat contains everything your average tourist is looking for. The city is filled with shops, bars and restaurants, providing visitors with a fabulous collection of both local and international wares, foods and drinks. While often overlooked, it also contains some of the most fabulous beaches in all of Italy, with long stretches of golden sand sprawling along the stunning coastline. Combine both of these together, and you have a recipe for an idyllic vacation, all about relaxing and treating yourself. There's plenty of iconic attractions to keep you entertained as well. Even without venturing into the old town, locations like the iconic Opera House or renowned University demonstrate the beautiful architecture of the region. If you time your trip right, you could even catch a show while you're in the city as well. Also known as San Nicola, Barry Vecchia, Old Town, is the historic part of the city, located within ancient walls. Featuring a traditional medieval layout, it represents the folkloric portion of the city, where many ancient traditions are still practiced. The remains of the original Roman city are buried deep beneath the modern one, with very little certainty known about what it would actually have looked like at the time. However, Bari Vecchia still dates back to the Byzantine era, meaning even though it is not as old as some parts of Italy, it is still a long-standing historic location. As is common in Italian cities, Romanesque buildings are featured in abundance in this area, as are those with religious significance or background. Perhaps the most famous is the 12th-century Basilica of San Nicola, which is considered a masterpiece of Apulian Romanesque architecture. Porto Berri is located to the west of our previous two destinations and centers around a stunning harbor and marina, surrounded by a number of pleasant bars, shops, and restaurants. Serving more than 2 million passengers a year, the harbor is considered to be Italy's gateway to the Balkans, with regular ships taking passengers across the ocean on a daily basis. If you plan to take a cruise while you're in Berry or are stopping here while already on one, this is an ideal place to stay. Meanwhile, its beautiful marina is full of stunning boats, both non-commercial, as well as some providing private tours and trips. This makes it an equally fabulous choice for those either hoping to hire one, or who simply enjoy watching the boats bob up and down in the water with a drink or a meal. As far as destinations go, our next option is going to appeal to an extremely specific type of traveller. Located in the far west of the city, it is largely detached from the rest of Berry, with its only real claim to fame, is it is the location of the city's international airport. This makes it an ideal place to stay for those on a layover, people who are worried about missing their flight home, or anyone who simply wants to avoid dragging their luggage all over town. San Nicola Stadium is a multi-use all-seater stadium on the outskirts of the city, capable of hosting events in front of live audiences of over 58,000 people. Designed by Renzo Piano, it has been crafted in the style of a flower, broken up into 26 individual sections that look like petals. The area surrounding the stadium is largely residential, providing a generally quieter experience than many other locations in the city, although that obviously won't be the case on event days. Shops, bars and restaurants are generally catered more to locals than the traditional tourist crowds, who tend to prefer areas in the heart of the city, or by the beach. If you are coming to the city to attend an event at the stadium, staying in the surrounding area will not only provide you with convenience on the day of the event, but it will also allow you to get a much more authentic feel of the city, staying and dining with locals. Berry is a beautiful city with a unique history and appeal. While not for everyone, it's a place that many people love and one that has a number of different sides to explore. Hopefully after reading this video, you should have determined which side of it you are most interested in and where to stay in order to take full advantage of that. With that in mind, all that's left for you to do is go and start getting everything booked so you can go and explore its wonders for yourself.